Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about Deep Dream Generator Tutorial. We will learn how we can use this platform to generate AI images and how we can use this platform overall. In case if you have no idea what is Deep Dream Generator, so it is a platform where you can generate different kind of images with the help of prompt. You just have to explain whatever you want to create in prompt and it will generate an image according to it. To use this platform, you have to go to the browser and on the search bar, you have to search for Deep Dream Generator. Once you search for it, you will find the results and from the results, you have to go with this first link. Once you click onto it, you will land onto its website. You can see this is a website of Deep Dream Generator. On the top left side, you can also see its name and it has generated this art piece and it is showing on its homepage. Once you scroll down, you will see other images that people have generated by using this platform and now it is showcasing some of them. So you can also create one of them, you just have to simply create one. So once you get to feed, if you have followed anyone, you will see here. And in latest, you will see the latest published work that people have pasted on this platform. You can see them and can take inspiration from it. And in best, people have pasted some of their work and this platform thinks this one is really good so they have added it into the best. Now if you want to create any one of these, you have to click onto this generate option and you will get here. First you have to explain the prompt. Whatever you want to create, you just have to simply write it here into the words. If you want to see a person holding a cup of hopi, then type it here. If you want to see a woman dancing, then you have to type it here. You have to just explain it into simple words and it will generate image for you. So here I'm going to ask it a fish swimming in deep sea and there's a shark behind it and there is kind of a corals in the background. Obviously this is a sea so I just want something related to sea therefore I'm going to explain it here. And this modifier option actually are some of the keywords that you can add to make your prompt much better. Like if you want 4k you can add it here. If you want to choose any one of your favorite artists you can also add it here. You can also choose the keyword from quality, you can choose it from effects, photography, like whatever you think you want to add, just simply click onto it and these keywords will be added into your prompt and later on your image that you will create from here will be related to what you have added as a keyword here. So you can choose as much as you want, once you have added, just simply click on close. After that, you can choose the models, like which model you want to choose. There are many available. Whatever you think is the best one for yourself, you can just simply click on that and that one will select it. Then you can choose the aspect ratio. There we have only three. Then you have to simply select from these. And in quality, you can choose if you want high or normal. And you can also choose if you want to add negative prompt or not. And if you want to customize it, you can also do that by just simply typing it here. After that, you can choose the face enhancer or maybe not. And if you want to upscale or enhance, you can choose according to your preferences. And once we get there, if you want to add any picture as a reference image, you can also do that. So for that, you have to simply scroll up and click on this option. If you want to add image, you can add it. Otherwise, you can just simply leave this option because this one is optional. And then simply click here. Now it will start working onto it, it will just take a few seconds or maybe it can take a minute. Once it's done, we will see what it has generated for us. So here you can see it has generated an image. I told it to create a fish and there's a shark behind it. So it has generated something similar to it but I think it's not what I'm looking for. Therefore I'm gonna create another one and let's see what it generates again. So if you want to generate again, then simply click onto this regenerate option and then you will again get back to that prompt section where you have to explain it again or maybe do some changes and it will regenerate it. This time I'm going to make more details here like there's a golden fish or maybe an orange fish and the shark is behind of that. So let's see if it that understand or not. So now the prompt is done. Simply clicking on generate and let's see what it generates for us this time. Here it has generated an image of two sharks in orange color. I told it to create a fish in golden color or maybe orange and there's a shark behind it. But it has generated a shark in gold or you could say the orange color. Somehow it understand but I think you just have to go in the prompt. You have to explain in detail and once you do that it will definitely work according to it. And that's it. This was all about 
Dream Dream Generator tutorial. We saw how we can use this platform to generate images with the help of prompt. So here you just have to work on your prompt, make your prompt working better. If you go in detail or maybe you know the art of creating prompt, then you can definitely generate amazing images. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. In case you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates. And thank you so much for watching the video.